Nightfall on Tuesday brought celebratory demonstrations in Gaza, victory being publicly declared after the Palestinian armed factions announced that a ceasefire had been reached with Israel. The uncertain line separating military escalation from all-out war has been approached several times in the last few months, but never as close as in the last few days. This Hamas video purporting to show a barrage of rocket fire unrivaled in intensity even on any single day from the three previous Gaza wars. Israel responding with scores of airstrikes on the Strip, targeting what it said were Hamas and Islamic Jihad-linked buildings, even if they lay within built-up civilian areas. Israel typically doesn't respond to Palestinian announcements of a ceasefire. However, the Israeli media did quote an unnamed official saying that Israel would respond according to events on the ground. That after a six-hour meeting of the Israeli security cabinet, which ended in a terse statement saying that the Israeli military would act as necessary. That at least leaves room for both sides to pull back before the damage and loss of life in Gaza and in Israel began to build a momentum towards war that could have and could still become inescapable. The reason why we're seeing conflict after conflict every few years in Gaza is that the underlying causes of the tensions, the occupation of Gaza, the rockets, which of course we condemn flying out of Gaza, the occupation, these things are not addressed. This round began with a covert Israeli incursion gone wrong on Sunday night, killing seven Palestinian fighters and one Israeli soldier. Up until that point, there had been rare signs of hope in the territory. Electricity flowing in a way not seen in years, Qatari money allowed in to pay at least partially civil servants' salaries. The Israeli Prime Minister had defended the measures, saying they could lead to stability and avoid an unnecessary and costly war. Both sides then have much to lose from allowing this dangerous exchange to devolve into something worse. But they also have domestic political pressure which can act in the opposite direction. This was a protest against the ceasefire in the border town of Sterot on Tuesday. The Israeli Prime Minister, under pressure to demonstrate he isn't ceding ground or undermining Israeli deterrence by stepping back from war. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Nahal Oz in southern Israel.